The world. A year and three months ago, I was there. That's where I met Ovan and Shino. As the three of us grew closer, I felt I'd finally found a place where I belonged. But then there was the incident in the Hulgrans Cathedral. Shino fell into a coma, and Ovan disappeared. From that point forward, the only thing left to sustain me was my desire for revenge on Triage. Seeking power, I became the terror of death. But all that power was lost when Triage hit me with a data drain. Even after that, my search for power continued. Inside, I was still seething, boiling over with feelings of injustice and rage. It was then I learned of Epitaph users. Players strong enough to combat the out-of-spec phenomenon known as Aida. The immense power of those players' avatars proved irresistible to me. Except through that power. Come to think of it, I met and dealt with all kinds of people since it all started. People I could only understand by dealing with them head on. Troublemakers who were good deep down. People who had different reasons for doing things but shared the same goals. People I could count on. And when I found out the truth, when I drew back the curtain to find Ovan orchestrating everything, it was thanks to all those people that I was able to cope. When Ovan's avatar, Korbinik, unleashed rebirth, summoning forth the anti-existence Kubia, I was able to survive because everyone was there. That's when I realized True power comes from all the people that we encounter in our life's journey. So, to make my peace with power once and for all, and to awaken him before it's too late, I've come back. Back to the world. Man, it's been forever since I last logged into the world. The desktop's just like I remember. Hmm? They've stopped doing updates? Well, whatever. What I'm looking for, I'll find inside the world. Time to log in. Welcome to Let's Play Dot Hack GU. Volume 4, Reconnection. It has been a long time since we were last visited by Dot Hack. And though I've made my opinion on the GU series obvious, Dot Hack as a whole, GU included, is still exceptionally important to me. And very recently, they released Volume 4 as part of the combination package, Last Recode. Now, Last Recode you can find available on Steam. It has all four games remastered in much higher definition and quality. It's not a remake, I will make clear, but it looks a lot better. And now everyone has access to it. There's actually a little bit more I want to say about that, but I'll save that for next time. Right now, there's nothing we can do other than log into 
the world. Okay, so the world's in a lot of crap. Server failure. And they're going to shut down the service? I have to hurry. I better log into the world. That's right, due to instability, they're going to be shutting down the world soon. <laughs> sure has been a while, hasn't it? Telling me. <laughs> but I don't have time to drown in nostalgia. Huh? Not good. It's more unstable than I expected. Gotta get going. I should input the area word at the Chaos Gate. That's right, we came here on a mission. And the first part of that is changing the camera over. Much better. There we go. I remember you. So last recode, um, specifically volume four, is much more linear than the other volumes. And by that, I mean there are, it's also much smaller. There are no side quests. There are no little bonus things you can do. You're pretty well restricted about where you can go and when and how. In fact, you can't even import your data from the previous versions, at least as far as I know, um, as you could between volumes 1, 2, and 3. Volume 4 is intended to be somewhat standalone. You pick it up and you play exactly how you want. Now let's go ahead and start this, because they're going to give you a tutorial about literally everything. And let's get all this out of the way, because we don't need to mess with any of this at all. All these tutorials. Okay, there, we went around the whole mess. So, as a quick note to that, um, you'll notice nobody's online. You're also restricted as to who you have. The unlockable characters, such as um, Natsume. Who else was there? Crap. I think even Ant no Antares is in here. Pyrrhus is in here. Okay, there's there's more. There's more than just Natsume. But the unlockable Bordeaux. Natsume and Bordeaux are not in your party list because they were optional in the previous games. Um, let's see your items, skill, equipment. We are never going to need to change our equipment. Never. So you can take a look at what you have. So that's cool. But yeah, you'll also never need to mess with any of this. Um, skill trigger, also never going to need to mess with. Um, status, you'll see we're level 135. We're maxed on all our skills. Again, this is intended as a quick standalone thing. It's not intended as something for you to really throw yourself into and work your way up proper. It's intended as a quick standalone finale, I guess. Um, you'll notice Lost Weapons, we're all max level on the Lost Weapons. Um, Awakening, you may recall, our Epitaph's power is sealed, so we cannot use Avatar Awakening. That's okay, Beast Awakening is pretty rockin' anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So that's that! Um, they're not gonna let you leave. I say I was gonna yell at you. So let's go where we're going. Huh? 
It's from Saiki. I see you're logged in, Haseo. Yes. I'm right in front of Makanu's Chaos Gate, Saiki. We're in the world. No need to be so formal. But... Come on, for old time's sake. Sure thing, Pi. I trust you know where to go and what to do. Head for Delta Hidden Forbidden Dark Grotto and ascertain the situation once you arrive. Understood. I'll monitor you from the real world. And just in case you weren't already aware, here's what's up. The world is currently experiencing server issues and bugs across all systems, leading to widespread instability. No one knows why. Even the admins aren't sure how to fix the instabilities at this time. If I had to venture a guess as to the cause, I'd say the servers were straining under the weight of all this illegal activity. Not the least of which is the rebirth, and the emergence of Kubia. In any case, this place is careening down a path to destruction. And then there's CC Corp. They've made the decision to permanently shut down the World R2 on New Year's Eve, the last day of 2018. Hey, that's this year. There's only a few days left. Rescuing him is going to be a race against time. Rescuing Ovan, presumably. You'll recall at the end of Volume 3 that we had resolved all of our issues. Ovan was gone. No idea where. And Haseo made it his goal to find Ovan. Don't worry. I know what's at stake. I hope you succeed. For your sake, and his. I will. I have to make this work. So it's been one year and three months since that last finale, and one can assume Haseo has spent that time finding Ovon. And it looks like we have. This is the newest lost ground unearthed by Nab. Quahome Cavern. I finally found him. And here of all places. The guy who first got me into the world. Who guided me so he could save his little sister, Aina, from the Ida virus that infected her. And then he activated his avatar, Corbinix, forbidden power, rebirth. The man who reset this world. Ovan! It's been over a year since then. But Ovan, Masato Indo, still lies in a coma in the real world. I'm going to smash that ice to pieces. And wake you the hell up! Justice! Still not strong enough. Okay, calm down. 
I can do this. There has to be some way to save him. Hang in there, Ovan. I'll get you out of there one way or another. I'll find a way to break you out of that ice whether you want me to or not. That's a promise. I knew it. I need to get that power back. The power to get you out of there. As you may recall what we saw before about our avatar being sealed. Right now, we're just a normal player. Which means something outside of the game's specs we can hardly even interact with. So we've got to go get our avatar back. And yes, they did bring back, as far as I know anyway, they did bring back all of the voice actors. Everything that you remember from the previous game, and it continues just on like the, no time has passed at all. Haseo, it really is you! Even Gaspard. You're all here. Shino sent word to us. She told us you were coming back. Haseo! We have all been here waiting for you. Haseo! You can't just log in and not tell anybody. Alcade? And... Shino. Welcome back, Haseo. We've all been waiting for you. You didn't have to inform everyone. <laughs> of course we did. Everybody has been really worried about you, Aseo. I do wonder what kind of contact Aseo's kept with everybody in this past year and a half if he hasn't been online. I'm sure he's stayed in contact with them. He just logged on without telling anybody he was going to log on. Come on, Haseo. Let's go to the Central Square. Yeah! Come on! When they found out you'd logged in, everyone just kind of gathered around there. I can't believe it. Everyone came here to see me. And some other mysterious person. I should say hi to all of them. Yeah, so we gotta talk to all of them. We can't really leave the area. There's actually not many people here other than who we've talked to already. Yes! All right! <laughs> Am I glad to see you, Haseo? Yo, been a while. wonder what it's like for a voice actor to reprise a role so long after the original, after they did the original role. Like, does it take them a while to get back into it? Or maybe after they read a line or two trying to do the voice again, do they just, does it like click in their memory and they just go, right, this character, I got this. How you been? Uh, you know, same old, same old. You, uh, heard the big news, I hope. CC Corp is shutting down the world. Can you believe it? We've all had so many good times here. Man, yeah, we wanted the adventures to just go on forever. Whoa! Yeesh, that was a big one. 
Admittedly, if the server's under this kind of strain, then it's probably only fitting they take the server, they take the game down if they can't solve it, and it's just getting worse. Now, one kind of small gripe I have is that they never actually explain the stability in all of this. Like, the best explanation for this instability that you get is what Pi gave, which, I, that make, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but I don't know, I feel like... I feel like I wanted something more than just, yeah, we did a lot of crap that year ago, and it's slowly killing the world. It makes you feel a little bit bad, like we were trying to save the world. Huh. There sure have been a lot of noise bursts like that lately. I think the server's corrupted. It's no use contacting the admins, though. We're looking into it! Gee, thanks! Haseo, there's something I gotta ask. Those noise bursts, are they part of the reason why you came back? No, but they'll probably end up being part of the reason. I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to pry or anything. It's just, if you're here on a mission, we're here to help. Like before, you know? A team. All you have to do is just say the word. It could be our way of repaying the world for all the joy it's brought us. Or something like that. That's right! We want to help! Syllabus. Gaspard. And you can tell pretty quickly that they didn't do anything to update the actual engine for the game. Like, every little nuance of Haseo's movements, and the way the camera rotates, the way the characters move and interact, like, every tiny little thing is exactly how it was before. Like, it is straight up an untouched port, just with much nicer graphics. Specifically, can I grant, can I jam the camera closer? Specifically, ugh. um, I think they gave they effectively made everybody's in-game models the same as what was in the cutscene, or what was in the cutscenes, which is a pretty drastic difference. Like Haseo's friggin' hands were like cubes beforehand, and now he actually looks like a human being. So that's neat. Hey, Haseo, guess what? It's been six whole months since I beat the Demon Palace, the Holy Palace, and the Sage Palace. Oh, man. I've defended all three titles for over six months. Pretty sweet, huh? Oh, that said, the arena's already been shut down. Which means now you'll hold the title forever. And since the world is about to disappear for good, the player base has been steadily shrinking. It's way different from the old days when you were champion. Yeah. <sighs> hey, Paseo. There's a reason why you decided to come back to the world now, right? If anything happens, you know you can count on me. After all, I am the champion. Gotta prove my worth. Let me know what I can do. No matter what it is. Alcade. This is something else to kind of get used to. In um, Volume Four, is what we're seeing here for the most part, aside from um, uh, differently from the previous three games. This Volume Four is Haseo's story. Straight up, it's Haseo's story. No one else here is really invested or involved, or maybe invested, but not involved directly in the story. Which means they kind of show up and offer you your help, and you can just kind of play with who you want to play with.
Greetings, Master Haseo. It's been a long time. I'm pleased to see you're looking well. Kaede. Where's Zelkova? Off performing his inspections, I believe. Unfortunately, he did not inform me of his destination before he left. A strange choice, considering the state of the world. I don't know where he could have wandered off to. So he's not here. Zelkova, Moon Tree's Guildmaster. I wanted to ask him about something. I'm worried about Lord Zelkova. And some things they do, like you saw there, is it feels almost like they expect people to be coming back to this many years after having played before. So they do little things like that just to remind you. Yeah, just in case you forgot who Zelkova was. Master Haseo, if you happen to determine his whereabouts, would you please let me know? Of course. Will do. Tabby! It's me! Tabby's back! You call me, and like a kitten to catnip, I appear! Uh, did you always talk like that? It's kind of nice that they give you access to Tabby this early, like right at the beginning, considering you didn't unlock her until after you were done with the post-game dungeon in Volume 3. Like, you had no reason to use her for anything anywhere, really. Meow that I'm here, you needed to worry your whiskers one little bit. Let me know when you're heading into an area. Don't you forget now. Okay, that's just about everybody. No, we still have to talk to Adelie. And... Tina was somewhere. Adelie. <gasps> Haseo. Why? Huh? I know what you've been up to. Ever since last year, you've been trying your best to save him, haven't you? When you logged into the world today, it was... It was to come and save Ovan, wasn't it? Then... Why? Why? Why what? What's gotten into her? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why don't you feel like you can trust me? All I want is to help you, Haseo. All I want is to be there for you. Wait, I'm sorry. Really? But just, just let me explain. I've been researching at Psyche's place this whole time, trying to figure out how to find Ova. Uh, I told you, right? Pi's name in the real world is Psyche. Earlier this year, she quit her job at CC Corp and transferred to NAB, the Network Administration Bureau. So I kept bugging her until she got me a job there as well. I mentioned that too, right? Anyway, I finally discovered Ovan's location. I like how he's saying that as an obvious exposition so that we as the player knows that. But he says that questioningly to Adelie as though like, I think I told you this, but I may not have and I'm sorry if I didn't. Just this morning, in fact. So you see... I honestly didn't have time to contact you, or the others. That's all it was. Sure, sure. You told Shino! <sighs> well, Shino's taking care of Ovan in the hospital, in the real world. Honestly, I didn't even want to tell her, or anyone else for that matter. Things might get really messed up again. I didn't want to put any of you guys in danger, and have you suffer for it. Haseo... 
So you were trying to keep it a secret. Straight up. Oh, damn it. You know what normal people say when they're in trouble? Oh dear, help! I'm in trouble! If you need help, you ask for it. It's common sense. In real life, online, wherever. Knock him out, Adelie. Well, don't you agree with me, Haseo? Well? Of course. I look forward to helping you. Uh... You tell him. Knock him down a peg or two. Whew. Oh no, I thought I had to. F I thought Sheena was standing around. Hmm. Everyone's still just the same as ever. Haseo. Shino. Well? I couldn't do it. I gave it everything I had, but I couldn't break Ovan out of that ice. Oh. About Ovan. He may not actually want to wake up, you know? What? I mean, he did seal himself in there. Just, maybe he doesn't want the story he created to come to an end. I refuse to believe that. I can't. I'm going to find a way to wake Ovan back up. I swear it. Shino! Oh, um, be right back. That ice Ovan's encased in, it's clearly outside the game spec. I wonder, if I use the epitaph's power, would that be enough to break through it? Haseo, I am going to seal Scathe. Your avatar does not belong in this world. A short mail. Aina is in the Hulgrans Cathedral? Guess I'd better head over there. Now we have at least a little bit of freedom to roam around. We're not locked to that small area. We can run over here even. I think we've been going for a little ways today, though. So, until next time, everyone. Oh man, Corporal Yano! Yeah. We're back. Anybody over here I remember? I kind of remember Toa. So, until next time, everyone. Ina's waiting for us in the Holgrans Cathedral. She probably wants to talk to us about Ovan. The front of it, as one would expect, the front of this is a little cutscene heavy. We're gonna start running some dungeons soon, though. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>